Temporary repair number three. This is for when we've got something a bit more major. So in the other two videos, I've talked to you about the importance of having the boat having some shape to it. Okay, we wanna put air in it as we're starting our pretend uh, patching process, our temporary repair. And then once we've completed whatever it is that we're doing to the boat, whether it be the Gorilla Tape fix or the Marine Goop or Cicaflex fix, we wanna let air out so that that leak isn't pushing out our work. So temporary repair number three is a bit more involved and maybe you've got a fairly large gash and the boat can't hold air. Just like right now, this boat is unable to hold air. If we had anything beyond one inch, whether it be a hole, a slice, a gash, whatever that's opened up here, the normal requirement is that of an inside patch. You guys aren't gonna be able to do an inside patch, um, especially not with these temporary repair materials. The process though is similar. It's just a bit more, uh, it's a bit extended, I guess. So again, we would go and clean our entire area with our white terry cloth towel and our acetone, whole thing. We wanna go well beyond that gash. So let's say the gash is three inches long. Let's go maybe nine inches out and nine inches up and down. Just make sure you've cleaned enough. Same process with our three wipes. So we're taking the white terry cloth towel and our acetone, wiping once, waiting five minutes, wiping again, waiting five minutes, wiping a third time, waiting five minutes. Now, when we're coming back with our Gorilla Tape, this is what we're using on this one. Uh, I am using duct tape in this example only because I have cut our Gorilla Tape for my hula hooping business <laughs> in half. So I want the full width of this. But if our gash were right here, we've done all of our cleaning wipes. I want to take my very first strip of tape and make certain that I am coming well beyond the area of damage. If we have three inches of gash, maybe we want nine inches of the tape. And it may take some doing, you may want a second person. So if this is an actual slice where this line is, can you see this line? You may want a second person to kind of help hold, flatten the fabric out, whether it be from behind, you could stick a board back here or a Tupperware lid, something like that. Make sure that you're closing that gap as much as possible as if you had me, Inside Patch Master, working on your boat in real life at this time. Get as flat as possible, edges are as close together as possible, and we're gonna come and do the same thing that we did with our Gorilla Tape Repair before and place that now down so that the center of our tape is in the center of our gash and we're gonna work our fingers outward. In the other examples, we've had air in the boat to kind of give us shape so that our tape didn't get puckers, wrinkles, or bubbles. In the other examples, we also boned down from the center out but in this case, we've got a gash. We have something that normally would require an inside patch. So we're not doing from the center out. We're going to know where about our actual slice is, which would be in the center here. And we know we've left adequate coverage of our tape on the sides. In this case, we're gonna bone from the outside in to make sure that we're pushing everything down to that chasm, to that opening to that slice to that gash so that those suckers are sticking together once we're certain we've handled the gash area we can go back to our usual center out boning with a little bit of muscle make that nice and flat again we have no air in the boat we're going to want to come back against the advice that we you know normally give with regard to layering patches we do want to come back and layer our tape all over the place so in this case, with a three inch gash right here and the inability to have it properly repaired with the correct adhesive, the proper prep, an inside patch, climate control, blah, 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 we need to layer. So I'll put my next layer of tape basically in the center of the first one. So half of my new layer is on the tape, 
half on the tube. And I'll bring a couple layers up this way, a couple layers down, and then maybe I'll frame out the actual edges. Now, is this gonna stop the leak? Probably not, but it'll slow it down enough where you're able to use the boat. You're not getting constant water intrusion into that gash. Uh, again, in this situation, we don't have air in the boat for our placing of the patch and the boning down process. We've got nothing. So we're just layering, we're doing, we're walking away from it, we're letting it sit for a day, we're pumping it up. This will allow you to be able to use the boat at least uh, without having to pump up. You might have to do that on a daily basis if there's a slow leak in there. Again, this is in a situation of having a gash, but this is a safe temporary repair. Even if the Gorilla Tape, which is very good and very sticky, had been on there for months, the residue might gum up a bit. That will remain when we pull the tape. Uh, some of the fibers of the tape might remain. Easy for us to remove. You've not caused any damage to your tubes. If you had tried to do this with 5200 roofing tar, you tried to DIY patch it with shitty adhesive, adhesive that's beyond its shelf life, try to do it with an actual patch in a non-climate controlled environment, it's gonna fail and when we have to remove your work, it's gonna take your colored layer of fabric with it and perhaps the scrim. That now makes something that could have been a fairly minor or at least straightforward repair for us. It's now bringing in major surgery, the requirement of major surgery. So that's our uh, bigger gash hole slice kind of repair process. Again, that starts out with the boat deflated, just doing our best to keep everything flat, do all of our layers, frame out that area, and that'll be a temporary thing for you until you can get the boat to a reputable repair shop. Thanks.